Hey everyone, it's Knowing Lux. Today I wanna to talk about Go Yard. For many, many years, it was the only brand that I insisted I would ever buy anything canvas from because I saw way too much of the LV and it was actually becoming something that was a turnoff. And then I loved the Gucci because it was actually a hand-me-down that I first received and from a family member. And so that naturally grew on me because it's so durable, so lightweight. It's perfect for a runaround purchase and for a runaround bag. And it was really hard for me to come across Goyard because I don't live in a city where it's sold. I hardly ever get to New York for shopping or San Francisco. Um, and so Europe was my only option. And so when I was able to go there, I made an appointment and had the most awesome experience at Goyard. Now the issue is, and what I'm gonna talk to you about is some tips on how to shop Goyard in a way that doesn't require you to potentially have to wait in line, but also, you know, doing your research, kind of knowing what the prices are in advance, all of that is gonna be really useful to you um, because it, there's not much information on the website. So first of all, I got these two bags. This is the Artois and this is the Cap Vert. And they are exactly the two bags that I wanted. I was thinking about them in different colors when I went in. Thank goodness I landed on the colors that I got. They are like nothing else that I have in my collection and they've already gotten some really great use. Not this much as much yet, but that's because of the pandemic and kind of having some limited ways to use things and, and go out and about. So what I wanna tell you is that these are from Paris. They're from the main flagship store, which is really cool because if you know, the actual print says, um, 233 Rue Saint Honoré, and that is where I got to buy it. And that is, that's really special to someone like myself who really loves this stuff. It's uh, kind of rare to have these really magical moments. Oh, don't let me forget to tell you all about the Chanel experience that I had, which was just so epic, but that's for another time. Um, this is, uh, and that was at the flagship in Paris. So Anyways, this was at the flagship of Goyard in France on the main street. And there's two across from one another. And it was really important for me because a friend had introduced me to the brand and had started telling me more about it as I got to France. Um, she's uh, an expert, if you will. And she was saying how one of the stores has the original office uh, for Monsieur Goyard and his old poster with the dog and all of that. So it was, it was quite nice to be able to go to the flagship and see the office. I got to take a picture. I'll see if I can add that into the video before I post it. And it was just such a special, special experience to do that. And I was going in for two bags. So first of all, the Cap Verde was on my list, but I wanted it in, of course, black and brown or black only, or you know that very neutrally black that is traditional of their company. And then I wanted the Artois in white. And when I got there, and thank God my husband comes with me because he has really good taste actually. And he always notices something that I don't notice. And I really love that because I get really excited in the hype. And then I think that I've done all my research and I know that these are the colors that I need to get. But then when I get there, like sometimes it's not always what I want. So, the Cap Verde in the dark color, they actually didn't have because this bag apparently is just coveted by everyone. Let's talk about one at a time, actually. Let's do that. So this bag, I wanted in that neutral color. It is highly coveted because look at the size. I mean, it's super big. I mean, it's super small, actually, I should say, but it's like the perfect size for run around, right? You can stick your phone in it. It also has this pocket in the back where you can stick your phone. Uh, for I mean, I wouldn't put it in there for like long-term storage, but you know, if you have to quickly grab and go, it has the zip, which I mean, the quality is so good, right? It's super easy to go back and forth. And then it's a camera bag, essentially. That's the shape of it. It's a camera bag. It has this um, slit pocket that is leather lined at the entrance so that this area is not gonna get overly worn because there's leather right here. And I think that's such a nice touch because what happens when it's only a slit pocket is that this area tends to get like sloppy or your hands are touching it all the time so the lining gets dirty. So I find that this this little bit of attention to detail by putting leather on the inside is like really great. 
Um, of course, the stitching is beautiful. The inside is also like a, it almost feels like a canvas mixed with some nylon. Now, from a sustainability point of view, I don't think it's that great, but I think that it's way more durable and like the color is so pretty. So I, at first I was like, what color do I get this in? I wanted it in a neutral so I could wear it all the time and have it as like a runaround bag for if it's raining or something where I, you know, just beat it up a little bit. But then I saw the yellow. So first of all, they didn't have the neutral color, thank goodness, because I have a lot of black bags. I also have a lot of casual bags that I can use if I want to, but I don't have anything in yellow and yellow tends to be a summer and springtime color. And so a bag that is like lightweight like this, I feel like it's gonna be perfect for me to use with summer dresses, um, even just like white and black. It's just that pop of color and it's super durable. Like I just see myself taking this to like a park in the summer or a concert outdoors, things like that. So I know that that's maybe thinking too much ahead or maybe being too specific, but that's exactly what this is, right? I mean, I could probably even fit a small water bottle in here uh, because that's something I would do. And then your essentials, your sanitizer, your camera, I mean, your phone, and then uh, all the basics of like lotion and lipstick and chapstick. And that is usually enough, like maybe a little thing of almonds. <laughs> like I'm usually carrying a snack as well. So, you know, things like that I think are, perfect for this bag. Uh, it is highly coveted because it's somewhat new, the Cat Verte, and so it's hard to find in the stores and the colors that you want. Um, maybe that's why yellow is available because who's buying yellow? My sales associate and my friend who was there who's more versed in you know this kind of shopping and Goyard in general was saying that like, get it because you'll use it. I mean, yellow was on my list of bags to buy on this particular trip, and so it was perfect that it was there but I had no idea that this yellow existed. And it is quite a nice yellow. I hope the color is coming through. It's pretty, on the camera, it's coming out as true as I think it is in real life. It's quite gorgeous. Uh, so I'm very pleased with this one. Oh man, this video is getting long, sorry. And then there's this Artois. I have used this nonstop since I got it. It is the Artois because the strap drop of the handles is much longer than the St. Louis. The St. Louis is the one that you see people with the most, but I love that it's a longer drop because then you can reach into your tote with it still on your shoulder. And dun, 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 it has a, oh, there's stuff in it, sorry. There, it has a zipper. So, you know, for a, a tote this size, for the kind of traveler that I am, sloppy and messy and fast and always traveling, uh, this is quite perfect because I can use this as my under the seat or, you know, carry on extra item and it zips because in here I am usually carrying my extra handbags that I'm taking like any luxury evening bag. I'm also carrying my toiletries, sometimes an extra change of clothes. So usually two small bags, two toiletry like mini packs and an extra set of clothes can comfortably or like my shawl you know, chargers, that sort of thing can comfortably, comfortably fit in this. I mean, it's huge. Check out the dimensions online. So the zipper, the longer strap, and the bottom is leather, um, leather structured, or it has leather to support the edges because, you know, any of these bags that are canvas are gonna get worn down here first. And yes, the leather is, oops, there's stuff in it. Uh, the, the leather's gonna get worn down too, right? But I feel like it has this just like this extra armor on it to make it more durable. Of course, these edges are leather. That's gonna get worn as well. This is, to me, what a Neverfull, I guess, is. However, the Neverfull is a lot more like the St. Louis in that the strap is not as long, which is why for a long time, I was thinking I probably would end up going for the On The Go from LV but I just, the print is just not me. It, the, the monogram logo is too much and the Damier uh, style, I really only like in the men's collection, like the, uh, what do they call it? The graphite, I think is what it's called. And so I really only like it in that. I don't like it in the brown. I don't like it in the white and blue, though I do kind of like it in the white and blue, the azure. But point is, I love, love, love the Goyard. And I've always wanted this in white. Like ever since I learned about it, I was like, I'm gonna buy a Goyard white. 
But when I saw it, my husband, thank God, was like, actually, the white looks kind of gray because the, you know, the print itself here is actually more of a gray on the white bags. And so from a distance, it looked like a light gray, which I already have a gray bag of this size. It didn't make sense. And I don't have any red bags of this size. I actually only have red bags that are more, so I only have red bags that are evening in this color. So this was perfect for me. I don't wanna go on too much longer because I've already had some mistakes in the way that this is recording. Let me know what, oh, I gotta to talk to you about the process. So uh, Goyard has a line out the door all the time. So I did not have a sales associate that I already knew because I'm new to the brand. And so what I did was as soon as I got to Paris, uh, actually before I got there, I emailed my concierge and I asked them to make an appointment. It was actually very hard to get in touch with Goyard, but after a few days, they were able to get me an appointment. However, I couldn't do the appointment that they had asked for because I had other appointments or sightseeing or something had been scheduled at that time. And so I had to go back and forth with them a couple of times to find a time that worked. But when it did work, when I did have the appointment, they let us right through without the line that I don't think a lot of people know to actually make an appointment. And, you know, I really do recommend that because the service is immediate. You don't have to wait. I mean, you're in a, a different country. And so, you know, even if you're not in a different country, if you're just visiting, you don't want to waste your whole day for like an hour in a line. And I, and I have to say that making an appointment with an SA, pretty much I did that everywhere. I don't think I waited in line in any of the stores because I had appointments. And so, I, you know, I think that will definitely help. It takes a little bit more of a hurdle at the beginning, especially if you don't know anyone directly, but it definitely helps. So make an appointment. Once you're in, the service was beautiful. The sales associate was like just, um, a, just aware enough of what our needs were, just interested enough in how to help us, but not in our way. Like, let us look around, let us, you know, have our conversations because we bought other bags for other people. Uh, like gifts and so it was very easy like we were having conversations about who would like this and who would like that and uh, it was just very very easy and relaxed and you know they let us take photos in the main office and just the the level of courtesy that was there in fact they even like had someone run across the street to like double check check things for me twice because I didn't like make a decision and then I was like no let me see this and he's like oh it's across the street so they sent another person over and while we waited we just relaxed and had water and uh, all of that and so you know it's so funny because we did get offered champagne at many of these places but we were so exhausted and walking so much while we were traveling that we had to drink water like there was just no way we were going to dehydrate ourselves with alcohol even though um, it is very tempting and so like lux to have that while you're traveling, uh, but we didn't. So yeah, that was my experience of this. I highly recommend it. It has been not used too much yet. I, I will probably do reviews of this as it ages, but I do intend to rotate it through. I have, you know, about three or four bags that I rotate through for travel. And that is mostly because of, it depends on where I go. It depends on uh, what I need to take with me and the climate and, and how rugged it's gonna be. So this one is, it's gonna be a big contender because my favorite one is my Prada one that I travel with the most because it's so durable, the, the nylon. But this one has so far on three trips been great. So I will see how it contends with some of the other bags and keep you all posted. Let me know what questions you have. Please like and subscribe and I'll talk to you next time.